Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are shopping at Walmart Neighborhood Market where we're gonna look for back to school snacks. You guys have told me that one of the biggest struggles is what kind of snacks can we fit our, feed our kids? So today, join me while we shop at Walmart. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Anna Maria Temple. I am your holistic pediatrician on call. My expertise is eczema, and my mission is to help inspire, empower, and educate families to raise healthy children in this unhealthy world. And it, as I often say, it begins with nutrition, and we don't want to break the bank on eating well, so another thing I like to do is actually you know, bust through all the excuses and show you that eating healthy does not have to cost a fortune and it is, is accessible to most people in most places. The things that I'm seeing right away, we can make a guacamole. We have avocados, we have limes, we have onion, and we have tomatoes. The tomatoes are not organic. However, non-organic tomatoes trump Doritos every time. So right here we can make a quick, easy snack for our children to have on the counter right as they come home from school. Well, okay, great. You don't want to make your own avocado. Oh, look, we have right here avocado verde, holy moly guacamole. Let's look at the ingredients. And what we have is avocados, tomatillos, water, onions, jalapeno peppers, and serrano peppers, cilantro, garlic, salt. No weird oils, no food coloring. This is a yes for after school snack. Oh, well, check this out a whole organic produce section at Walmart. And we have four color peppers. We got red, orange, yellow, green. We have uh, carrots, we have cucumbers. You can slice all these. So we already have six plant points over here that you can slice and put them on the counter. Remember, if you leave these items in the fridge and you expect your children to eat them from the fridge or slice them up themselves, these things are gonna mold and you're gonna throw away money. You have these things cut up on the counter. When they get home from school, these will be devoured before they go to the pantry. Now, even if your Walmart doesn't have organic produce, it doesn't matter. Non-organic produce trumps Doritos, Goldfish, and all the other packaged snacks any day. I'm giving you a closer look at the organic prices for organic celery that we have, for the organic peppers, for zucchinis, Iceberg lettuce, carrots, carrots, just so we can look and you can see that we can make the everyone gets upset with me because I poo poo on all these yogurts because they're full of sugar, they're low fat, which is complete garbage, and they have no protein. Anyway, so everyone's been asking me which yogurt do I like? Here's my favorite, and they have it at Walmart. That's right, it's organic, it's whole milk, it's plain, no added sugar and then you just put all your fixings on. Here's the price, 11 cents and a half per ounce. Let's go over here where we're gonna find, oh look, a lot of people have been asking me what kind of cream cheese do I suggest? Look, Organic Valley cream cheese. It's organic, it's got, wait, let me get to the ingredients. It's got uh, milk, whey, cheese culture, soul, locust beam. I mean, beautiful. And check this out, we even have veal life non-dairy cream cheese. Fantabulous. Yes, it has more ingredients than the dairy one, and if I wasn't dairy-free, I would choose this over this. But because I'm dairy-free, this is a great alternative here at Walmart. Kids are dying to have string cheese once in a while for a snack, not every day. Look, Walmart even has an organic option. Now we can do salsa and chips for snack, and we're looking at hummus. This is soybean oil, that's not organic, we're not eating that. But these guys are some of my favorite people. Check this out. Yes, it's safflower oil, which is an omega-6 strong oil. But look at all these other ingredients. Amazing. And you can use a little bit of non bread with your side of veggies for dipping. Snack sector we're looking. I would say pretzels, but if you flip them over, there's corn syrup. So now, however, we have the popcorn. And even though it's not organic, it's three ingredients. So, okay we got going on. Oh, hippies. You know, I like these guys. These are pretty awesome. Love them. Oh, hold on. Here we go. We, we found something. We found something. <laughs> Definitely no. Don't care if it says organic. Turn it over. You'll see how many ingredients. Lord have mercy. We're putting that back. Okay. So we're going to go to these. 
Let's look at the ingredients here and we'll see that's corn, organic expeller, pressed sunflower oil, and sea salt. And if you've watched my old video, you know why that is gonna be an okay. So that's a great option. We also have these guys here and we'll see that's corn, organic expeller, pressed sunflower oil, and sea salt. And if you've watched my old video, you know why that is gonna be an okay. So that's a great option. We also have these guys. I really like this company, Wholesome Ingredients. And let's look over here, you're like, oh, smart food. That's really great advertising. You turn it over, you're like, yikes. Look how many ingredients. And then we have yellow five and yellow. Six. We'll put this back. What about these guys? Oh, they're not organic, but, oh, look, only a couple of ingredients. It does have added sugar because it says on the front, it's sweet and salty. But you can buy his friend, which just has salt in it. Just three ingredients, fabulous. Oh, another great snack, oh look here. Roasted salted pistachios, uh, just pistachios and sea salt, very nice. These are gonna be your honey roasted pistachios and that's fine, well, the sugar and sunflower oil, natural flavor, I mean, if we have to, again, once in a while is okay. These guys are awesome. Oh, for my gluten-free people, I actually do eat these. And here's the ingredients. Uh, we have, the does have palm oil in it, aware. And we have some gum, so it's not like the cleanest, but, you know, once in a while for a gluten-free pretzel. Sorry. Oh, this is a cool snack. It's randomly placed here, but uh, chickpeas, dried chickpeas, check this out. Six grams of protein, especially right before your athlete goes to the sport. What are ingredients? Roasted chick, wait, you can't see it. Roasted chickpeas, expeller, pressed. Safflower, sea salt, tocopherols, which is vitamin E. You know, we're giving this a go. All right, let's see for snacks. Oh, cranberries, but we saw these at Costco, right? Remember, 26 grams of added sugar. So be careful with the dried cranberries because they add sugar and oil, yuck. Um, the raisins, they're not organic. Yes, we would prefer that, but you know what? One ingredient, so that's a great snack. Freeze-dried peaches, I checked all of these. These are just one ingredient, just strawberries, apple slices, and then we have the bar. So these are good lunch pack. Oh, check out this awesome find, because you know how much I like smoothies for snacks. Look at this. Organic super greens protein. Now we have a lot of ingredients, but these are all uh, vegetables and different grasses. All right, then we have this golden milk super blend. Check out the ingredients here. I mean, it has a little bit of gorgon and stevia. I'm giving it a pass. This is pretty awesome. Yep, smoothies for snacks. Okay, my favorite when I ask kids, oh my God, what fruit do you have in your lunch? They're like fruit gummies. Okay, just because they're organic does that not mean that they get a pass. This is uh, organic garbage. So these are in a... Oh, hey, but right next door, we got these fruit roll bears. Uh, let's see, do they have anything interesting? Oh, look at their ingredients. All right, all right, look at that. I'm gonna give these guys a pass, yes. Pretzels, hey, check these out. These guys, if we're gonna look at their ingredients, they have the cleanest ingredients, so these are a go. Huh, well done, Snyders. All right here, we have a whole section of late July. You know, I like these guys. Whole section of, oh, whoa, look here. Organic licorice says so obviously candy, but at least, and look, we have my favorite Simply Mills crackers. Well done. All right, what else we got? Oh, this is so random. Chickpea superfood bowl. Let's look at the ingredients. Actually, very decent. I'm actually gonna take this to uh, my youngster at college. I'm gonna go next to his friend, and then there's this one, another plant-based meal. Let's look at the ingredients here. Yep, that's a great snack for my college kid as well. On crackers and celery, we can put some nut butter, which is organic peanut butter. And the ingredients are dry roasted peanuts and sea salt. Wonderful. In the fruit pouch section, we actually have cinnamon, organic cinnamon applesauce with uh, just four ingredients. And we have his friend over here with only three ingredients. Pretty cool. Your life snack are hard-boiled eggs, and look what they have at Walmart. My favorite eggs. Cool. All right, let's take a look at our protein bars. 
and we have Laura Bar Bakes chocolate chip cookies, and we like this company, so I was like, well, let me see what's going on here. 10 grams of added sugar. What happened here? Now, I do like the Lara Bars, and this has six ingredients, and, you know, three grams of added sugar, so this is allowed in my house for an occasional snack. Everybody loves Cliff Bars, and I used to think they were awesome too, so we're going to go like, wow, look at how many ingredients and 20 grams of added sugar. This is basically a Twix. All right, well, we have Kind Bars, and you guys know how much I like to annoy everyone. Look at these ingredients. Glucose syrup, rice flour, soy lecithin, sugar, and then has 8 grams of added sugar. Just remember, a child's daily value is 24 grams. Guys, so I hope that was helpful in finding them some new ideas on what to feed your children on a budget. And don't worry if you feel like, oh my gosh, like my kid's not gonna eat like hard-boiled eggs and guac and vegetables. You know what? My children used to eat Uncrustables and Go-Gurts and cheese sticks and drink juice boxes and they had the most processed food you can imagine. If I can do it, you can do it. In fact, I wrote a book to help you out so you can see the link to it in my caption below. But fear not, I got your back. But anyway, I hope that this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me comments and questions for future videos. Again, I'm Dr. Anna Maria Temple and my mission is to help inspire, educate, and empower you to raise healthy children in this unhealthy world.